Smith. Love the man, but what? It is destroying my childhood now. Thanks. Thanks, Will. Wait, is this Aladdin? Is this Aladdin? I have not seen this yet. I saw this yesterday. It's garbage. Turn it off. Bring me the lamp. Your life begins now. This is exciting. Aladdin. I've got chills because it's my childhood right there. Okay, at least the music's good. Oh my god. She doesn't really look like Jasmine. Transitioning from animated to live action doesn't always translate, but I feel like Disney has a pretty good grasp on that. Oh gosh. Here it comes. Will Smith, love the man, but what? You really don't know who I am. Genie, wishes, lamb. <laughs> Will Smith that. looks funny. None of that ringing a bell. Okay. Is that just Will Smith? Or am I having a hallucination? I've heard so many people not liking Will Smith as a genie, but like, I don't I, I don't get it. For everybody that gave him shit on Twitter and Instagram about him not being blue, we knew he was gonna be blue. They were just like, eh, 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 eh. you shut your face. It looked like Will Smith joined the blue man group and ganged like 35 to 40 pounds. It doesn't have the same feel as the old one. Like Robin Williams, I feel like no one could replace him, but Will Smith was a good shot. So that was the trailer for the live action version of Aladdin. This trailer was first shown during this year's Grammys and people were quick to turn one of the characters into a meme. I wonder who. You ever watch Willy Wonka and the girl turns into a blueberry? It's basically the same thing that happened to Will Smith. <laughs> so we have some of those to show you. I actually contributed to a few of these, so I can't feel bad. This is my real reaction to the grossest oh, thing no. I've ever seen. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Why is it? He's not that scary. Dude, you know what? He looks like. It looks like someone tried to make. The genie in The Sims 4? <laughs> That's messed up. Oh. Yes. Three, two, one, bada boom. There he is, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> no, no, why? Three, two, one, bada boom. There he is, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> that was f***ing accurate. He did that in The Sims 4? That guy's got a lot of time on his hands. <laughs> You really don't know who I am. West Philadelphia. Born and raised. West Philadelphia. Yeah. Born Come on, Fresh Friends. None of that ringing about. <laughs> That's a better trailer. Why couldn't they just show that? I love this. People are so creative on the internet. Sometimes I hate it, but for this, I love. Oh no. Here's Genie. His teeth are a little bit stained blue too. Like the makeup rubbed off on his teeth. It's just a lot of aspects about this I don't like. Wow, the new Avatar trailer sure looks great. Oh my God, people went nuts. No, 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 no. That is, nope. Poor Will Smith. He didn't, he didn't do nothing to deserve this. Will Smith Genie is what appears in my room when I have sleep paralysis. I seen this one. I just actually had sleep paralysis last night. So I feel like maybe I would have seen that. It is kind of the stuff of nightmares, honestly. I mean, and how are you gonna follow Robin Williams? Who did it, oh God. Who did it better? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> that got me! I'm gonna have to give it to Tobias on this one. That would be epic if the genie has just jean shorts on. <laughs> no, I can't. I hate clowns. He doesn't look that bad. Do you think he looks bad? I just feel like, what else would he look like? Pretty close. It's pretty good though. I, I mean, I like it. I, I, I see the similarity there, it's good. I don't know, Pennywise is giving him a run for his money. Like if you, if I rubbed the lamp and he came out, I'd throw the fucking lamp. First look at Will Smith playing the role of Thanos' cousin, Lewis. <laughs> Why Lewis? Oh no. He should have been snapped. It's a little shocking how it's like, they're twinning out really hard right there. I feel like some of these are trying too hard. Like. I get the joke, but you're, you're pushing it a little much. It's hard to picture Will Smith without the crazy blue genie CGI lately. Honestly though, the way like everyone, okay, but it does look weird. I hate everything about this. It is destroying my childhood now. Thanks. Thanks, Will. Fresh Prince of Bel-Air was actually an amazing show. Nobody can tell me otherwise. This just made me really mad. I'm actually glad you didn't get to see. 
Oh no! <laughs> Don't open your eyes! That's funny, bird box. I think she needs a second blindfold on top of that blindfold just to make sure she doesn't see it because now that I'm looking at him, he might haunt my dreams until this movie comes out. So before the trailer was released in December of last year, Entertainment Weekly released the first look photos and this was the image that they had on their cover. Right, yeah. Okay, so that's like a little, I mean, it's still upsetting. <laughs> I actually really like Jasmine's outfit. And Disney does that, like they always tweak their like outfits not to look like the same as cartoon. Honestly, I think I prefer this one because if it's live action, you're gonna make everything look real. Might as well make a genie look real. That's doable to me. You know, keeping him without blue, you know, the blue tinge. But there would have been the, the trolls out there on social media looking at it says, why isn't the genie blue? And then now that he is blue, the people are like, oh God, he looks terrible. After this photo was released, people were quick to critique, and these were some of those responses. People were quick to criticize everything. And they're gonna be like, he's not even blue. Right, there you go. <laughs> why is Aladdin wearing a shirt? Why is Jasmine wearing more of a shirt? Oh, come on. And why is Genie not blue? Well, they gave you blue. They gave you what you wanted. That was legit my initial thought for like maybe a whole like 10 seconds when I first saw it. I was like, but what's the point of casting him as genie if he's not gonna be blue. We just can't make everyone happy on the internet. And now they made him blue and everyone's like, what did you do? They had to choose one path or the other. Had to like really animated genie or really human looking genie. And they're like, F it. <laughs> Smush them together. Ruin one of your favorite Disney movies in one picture. Yeah. Oh, that's so mean. I feel like I would still wanna see it. Everyone looks so pretty. Whatever. You're still gonna pay money to see it. I hate people so much sometimes. Like, you have no patience. I don't think the picture ruined it, necessarily. I think it was one of those things where you're like, okay, let's see where this goes. And then we we got what we got. Fixed your genie, LaMau. Jack's films, oh, he, he, he's, he's here. <laughs> That's the thing, like, he fixes everybody's photos in general. So I'm like, fix my genie, we appreciate you. He's the hero we deserve. That looks fine. So much better. Can you imagine, like, maybe that's where Disney was like, hmm, Jack's films, maybe, should we go back to the whole blue thing? And this was actually Will Smith's response on Instagram after the photo came out. Bam, first look at the genie, Princess Jasmine and Aladdin. Check me rocking the top, not ponytail vibes in Entertainment Weekly. And yes, I'm gonna be blue. This is how the genie is in human disguise form. My character will be CGI most of the movie. I feel like this was damage control. This was probably after the post. I wonder though, had they not gone, if they had gone blue initially, if the outrage culture that's out there now would say like, why can't the genie be Will Smith? Why can't he be black? You know what I mean? Like they would have freaked out the other way too. People are gonna have their opinions, whether they're positive or negative. Ultimately, I think all the people who are making those comments, one way or the other, they're gonna see the movie. Overall, as you've seen, the new Aladdin remake has a lot of conflicting opinions online, with some people questioning the graphics and others scared that this won't live up to the original. From what you've seen in these responses, can you ever win public opinion in the age of social media? No, there's absolutely no winning. You can never please anybody. Um, you're gonna have a not blue genie and everyone's gonna be like, why isn't he blue, why isn't he blue? You ruined the movie and then you're gonna make him blue and then people are gonna hate it. You can never please anybody nowadays, especially with f***ing social media. They're gonna do what they're gonna do regardless, especially with the amount of money they have, they're, they're flush. No matter what you do, especially when they're like rebooting stuff like that, people are gonna be pissed. There's always gonna be people that like, liked one version better and they resent whatever you're trying to do. Never. But. I don't know if it should live up to the original. I think it's its own separate thing. Like with Jungle Book, in my mind, I had to separate the Jungle Book that I knew and the Jungle Book that was now. And they were they were still equally awesome. People are always gonna compl like, complain, but I mean, I understand why they're complaining about these things because Disney did have a lot of potential with this movie. And it's like a good kids movie. It's very nostalgic and I feel like I don't wanna say they didn't put enough effort or anything like that, but I feel like they could have done more. So in the past few years, Disney has started to create and release live action remakes of other films, including Beauty and the Beast and Jungle Book, just to name a couple. Seeing that this trend seems to be continuing with more live remakes scheduled to be released in the next few years, do you think that this is a smart move on Disney since these classics are so popular? Or do you think Disney should stop while they're ahead? No, I don't think they should stop while they're ahead. I think it's, you're creating new memories for a younger audience and, and for, 
people that have maybe not gone back and watched the old animated films if they don't have parents that force them to watch it like we do. Disney's so big, everyone's gonna watch it. Like, I don't think they're gonna stop. I don't think they should stop. Like, most, like, when Jungle Book, when they were doing Jungle Book, I remember we were like, why are they doing that? And it's a good movie. You have to be really careful with the live action interpretation of a, of a beloved animated film. It's like, you have to be careful with that. But I mean, there's plenty of examples where it's been amazing. Like, I personally really loved Alice in Wonderland. That was one that I thought was really awesome. I would love to see the classics stay the classics, but that's the nostalgia in me. The fact that CGI has progressed to the point that it has now, I think it's inevitable that they remake or actually redo the movies to make it look, um, Contemporary. So as you've seen, uh, one of the critiques that a lot of people had with this new remake is the way that Will Smith looks as a genie. Yeah. And some are even saying that they should go back and fix his CGI in the entire film. Oh! I'm excited as hell for that. Like, they can critique it as much as they want to, but I'm still gonna probably watch this 13 times. So, finally, do you think that Disney will be transporting you to a whole new world with this movie, or do you think that they should have buried this idea in the sand right next to the lamp? Ah! I'm gonna say we're gonna go to a whole new world. I wanna have faith, I'm gonna be positive. I'm ready for a whole new world with this one. Let's go on a magic carpet ride into the future with this. I just think it's gonna be bad, but I'll give it a shot. <laughs> Should have buried this right next to the lamp and then just leave the carpet alone. Let it collect a little dust, okay? Who doesn't love Aladdin? And I love the idea of like exposing, like now this is like, gonna be another generation who gets to enjoy Aladdin. I think I'm gonna take my magic carpet all the way to Agrabah. I hate like all this Disney lingo, I hate it. <laughs> well, they're coming up with a whole new world and it's a live action CG one. I don't know if I'll go see it, but I'll probably wait till it's like on Netflix or something. I think it's gonna be really cool. The rest of the stuff, aside from the genie, look just visually stunning. It's tough, the Robin Williams Aladdin was so good. The entire movie was so well done. The music was amazing. If I had to make a choice, I'll be transported to a whole new world. I'll, I'll say that now, but I reserve the right to change my mind. Thanks for watching Adults React, and shout out to That Squid and Brian Thompson. Don't be a street rat. Subscribe for new episodes almost every day. Do you think the genie should be blue? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Got a jet on my magic card. Hey guys, Ethan here from FBE. A big thank you to all of you for watching this episode. And if you want to continue to support the channel, then you got to check out our merch page. It'll be shopfbe.com. Bye, guys.